Checking an ignition switch with a multimeter is relatively straightforward and falls into the DIY realm with a bit of caution. But before you start tinkering with your vehicle, ensure the safety basics are in place, like disconnecting the battery. Here's how it's done. Firstly, grab your trusty multimeter and set it to measure ohms, which should look like the Greek letter omega, ohm. This setting measures resistance and will tell you whether the circuit the ignition switch controls is open or closed. Now locate your ignition switch. In most vehicles, it's on the steering column. You might need to remove some plastic covers or panels to get to the back of the switch where the wires connect. Once you've got access to the switch, you'll find several wires connected to it. Use your vehicle's service manual to identify which wire does what. The manual will define the purpose of each wire. Typically, you'll have one that powers the switch, another for the starter relay, and others for various accessory circuits. Now comes the multimeter magic. Connect the black lead to a good ground. That's a metal part of the car's frame or engine that's unpainted. As for the red lead, touch it to the terminal that supplies the switch with power. Check your service manual for which one this is. Turn the key to the first position. If your multimeter doesn't show any resistance, that's usually a sign of trouble. When you turn the key further to other positions, like accessory or run, the multimeter should show different resistances as different circuits close. To check the starter circuit, have your red multimeter probe on the starter terminal and turn the key to the start position. You might need an assistant for this part. You should see a low resistance reading if the circuit is good. If at any point your readings are off or you're getting infinite resistance, an open circuit, you've identified a problem, either with the wiring or the switch itself. While doing this, remember you're testing electrical components, which means precision and safety are key. If your numbers are all over the place or if you're not entirely secure in auto DIY, it's best to consult with a professional mechanic. A bad diagnosis here can lead to all sorts of ghost problems in your vehicle. Remember, safety first. Be aware that dealing with your car's electrical system can be risky if you're not sure what you're doing. Use your multimeter properly and always follow the specific guidelines for your vehicle. Why it matters. Faulty ignition switches can lead to all sorts of headaches, from your car not starting to electrical gremlins that seem to have a mind of their own. If you're like me, stuck here in Portland, you don't want to be caught in the middle of a downpour with a car that won't start. It's always raining here, no joke. Addressing these issues promptly can save you time and money, and a potential call to ADA. Understanding how to test components like an ignition switch can also demystify some of the complexities of your vehicle, making it less of a mechanized beast and more of a machine that you, the capable DIYer, can master.